Hello everyone, welcome to the Palmistry with Desha. I am Desha here and today is our third video of our video series how to read your own hand. In our last videos we understood, we got the introduction about our back hand and the front hand and we, we understood a little bit about the fingers and the planets. In this video we are going to start, uh, we will understand about fingers and with the, and the related planets. As we know, we have five fingers, and each finger is associated with one planet. So our first finger is associated with the Jupiter planet, so it's called the Jupiter finger. Our middle finger is associated with the Saturn planet, and it's called the Saturn finger. Our ring finger is associated with the Sun, it's called Sun finger. Little finger is called the Mercury finger, and our thumb is called Venus, Venus finger. In palmistry, we have this. Uh, we have certain length for each finger. Uh, the thumb's length should be. Uh, the thumb should come till the till the midpoint of our Jupiter's third phalange here. So our thumb should come till this line. If it the length of a thumb, if it come, bring the thumb close to the uh, close to the Jupiter finger. If it comes, if the, the thumb comes to the middle point, um, comes to the midpoint, it's called the normal length of the uh, thumb. If it's gone beyond the midpoint, it's a high thumb. And if it goes, uh, it is below the midpoint, here, the thumb comes here, it's the low, uh, short thumb. So long, long thumb people are born leaders and low thumb people are like they can be poet uh, like that and the jupiter's finger length should be uh, the jupiter finger comes till the midpoint of the saturn's first phalange after here this is a normal length of the jupiter finger for sun finger also the sun finger's length should be till the midpoint of the sun's first phalange or it can be little less, little less. For mercury finger, uh, the mercury finger should come till the uh, sun's first joining line. The sun, sun fingers first joint line. The this this is called the, the normal length of the fingers. Now we have three parts in each finger: first phalange, second phalange, and third phalange. The first phalange is associated with the mental mental side. The second phalange is associated with the rational side, and third phalange is uh, associated with the physical ability, physical side, and materiality. For each phalange, inch, there is also certain length is there uh, in palmistry. If we divide the total length of a finger in ten parts, the first phalange should be of Two measures the second phalange should be of 3.5 measures and third phalange should be of 4.5 measures now we have joining lines in by which the phalanges are made there are different types of joining lines the joint lines there can be a single horizontal joining line there can be two parallel horizontal um, joining lines and it can be in the form of a island so we have the combination of these joining lines in in our fingers sometimes we have more than five fingers in our hand we have six fingers joining the six finger is joined to the thumb or any with any other finger it's not considered good in palmistry even though we get operated and we get the finger cut but the effect of that that remains in one's life and which is not considered to be good in palmistry <clears throat> sometimes we have uh, more than three phalanges in our hand that means our hand in, in our finger our finger is divided in three phalanges so there are two joining lines but sometimes we have three joining lines and we have more phalanges which is not considered good in our palmistry so wherever that 
third line has joining line has appeared whether it's in the first second or third it will divide the characteristics of that phalange for example if it, the third line has come here in the second phalange it will divide the character the logical the rational and logical characteristics of that finger um, we'll we'll talk about the set set how the fingers are set in the uh, in our palm mm -hmm. uh, if we'll uh, draw an imaginary line at the base of a finger like this the from that imaginary line some some fingers are starting little lower side this is the imaginary line the base line and our finger starts from here sometimes our finger starts from the uh, sorry, our finger starts lower lower little lower from the baseline imaginary baseline and sometimes our finger starts little bit it higher from our imaginary baseline if the finger starts little lower from the imaginary baseline it's called the low set finger and and otherwise it is called the high set finger uh, what will happen with these the, if the finger is low set they will affect the person's uh, the, the fingers energy fa uh, energy factors which we have discussed in our previous video for example if the person's uh, mercury finger is lower set he may have a uh, little bit communication problem he may he may, the person can have a stammering problem he he can have some he doesn't he, he cannot be good uh, in business skills so this in that manner if uh, some finger is high set the person is all the time um, is going after name and fame and he can do anything to get the name and fame so this way we can define the factors if the finger is set low or high now feel uh, close our fingers and we look through the hand we'll find that there are certain gaps in between fingers and we can find we can see through the see through light from these gaps if you have big gaps and you can clearly see through light from these gaps then it shows that uh, you are in an expenditure form you you are, you expand uh, your expenses are higher you expense much and if it the gap is gap is uh, uh, closed and there's no gap in between fingers that that shows that you 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 attract money and in palmistry we give some remedies for that like we tell the client to wear the rings to stop those gaps and in in whatever finger shows that gap you should wear the ring according to that uh, ring of that metal uh, of which is related to that finger uh, you can wear the uh, glass finger uh, glass ring as well so metal doesn't matter but it will stop the gap and so it can stop your expenses and stop your expenses sometimes if we'll see uh, if we'll expand uh, spread our fingers and we'll see we spread our hand we will see that our fingers are bending towards other fingers so for example this is our normal thing it, this should be our finger but our finger is bending towards other finger side so this is a saturn finger suppose and this is the sun finger saturn finger if saturn finger bending towards sun finger what will happen the sun the saturn finger will attract the energy factors from this sun planet also and it will attract the mixture mixed from energy factors from saturn planet as well as from sun planet and it will not able to attract its own planet's energy factors so this will affect the person's life in that way uh, sometimes a finger are expanded more from than the normal position the, if the um, for example if mercury finger is expanded to more there's a gap is more it's a good sign it's a sign of a money and uh, 
uh, as we have talked like for example mercury finger is more expanded you are good in business you have good good like uh, business skills you your communication skills would be good or better so this is all about in this video if you like my video please like click the like button and if you want to see upcoming videos and uh, you want to learn palmistry please subscribe my channel till then thanks take care and bye